it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Jen's Turfing Brewery. Uh, he's a home brewer out in Sweden. Lovely guy, always sends me his home brews to review. And I, I just like his artwork. It comes across like, and of course his beers taste like, craft brewery beers. I mean, it's great. And I know, I know people say to me all the time, hey, don't say that, some of the best Brewers in the world are home brewers. Well, they've been home brewers. I understand that, but it's still you do have limits when you're home brewing in the kitchen. You've got you're using pots and pans, and uh, everything's the scale's so much smaller. So it's it's a little bit more difficult, I think, home brewing than, than actually producing on a craft brewery scale. So I'm gonna. It's great that he produces really good beers, and and he puts the effort into to the labels, it's good. It's 7.1% ABV. It looks to me like it's a blackberry saison. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. What a lovely looking beer. Two finger slightly off white head it's got a little bit of black current in that head nice over the carbonation definitely got a hint of the black current in the in the glass there nice slightly hazy saison so you get the aroma oh yeah that's really nice The black current comes over on a tart note. With that funky saison. Kind of slightly horse blankety yeast. I'm gonna dive into this one. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. That is really, really nice. Stone the Crows. I was gonna just stand here for a moment, just contemplate and enjoy and enjoy the outdoors and stand and, and sip and... That's what the beer made me wanna do, just chill and relax, but I can't. I'm on camera, I'm talking to you guys. So yeah, Stone the Crows beer, really nice, really fresh, really fruity, definitely get it. Uh, a hint of that black currant. It's given a little bit of sourness to the beer, a little bit of sharpness if you like. And of course, that Saison yeast is massively present. But the black currant works. It's not overly powerful, it's not, it's not overly dominant in the flavour. It just kind of works. And as fruit beers go, it took me a while to drink fruit beer. I think with Lambics, Saisons, they lean very heavily, or they're very accepting when you want to add fruit to the beer. They work, they generally kind of work very well together. And this is, this is brilliant. And 7.1% ABV, you'd never have guessed that. You can see the colour as the beer's pouring out. Lovely stuff. Nice tight head, creamy head. It's just juicy and fresh and... It's an accepting beer. Does that make sense? It's very... It's like knocking... Knocking on a good friend's door. You can kind of knock on it any time of day. Any time of night and they'll accept you in. It's the beer that just makes you want to drink it. It's just accepting. It's like, come to me, drink me. It's, it's, it's just that. It's really tasty. I'm going to rate it. So, Cesar Rubia Cezanne, 7.1% ABV. Stone the 
Stone the Crows, 9 out of 10. Really good beer, really good beer. Thank you very much, Jen, for sending the beer. Uh, big home brewer in Sweden. Uh, best of luck. I think he's going to look to open a brewery maybe one day. I hope he does. He makes fantastic beers. Uh, please comment on this 9 out of 10 beer. Uh, please subscribe. Give us a big fat thumbs up. And cheers.